In this video, we're going to take a look at a method called scientific notation to write really large or really small numbers. First, I want to look at what standard form is. Standard form is just what you might call a typical number. Really loose definition, but a typical number like 5200 or maybe 0 0.0012. Those are just numbers that we've seen before. Scientific notation is going to change them to some number being multiplied by 10 with some exponent. Now, this number in front, I just wrote it as a, this number in front is always going to be between 1 and 10. Actually, it can equal 1, so we'll say less than or equal to. Basically saying the decimal point is going after the first significant digit in the number. The b, then, is also important. b tells you the number of times we need to move the decimal. If b is a 7, the decimal point has been moved 7 times as we converted between standard notation and scientific notation. We also look at the sign on b, because if b is positive, it tells us that the standard number is a big number, or bigger than 10. 5,200 is bigger than 10. That would have a positive exponent on the 10. Conversely, if b is negative, it means the standard notation number is small, or smaller than 1, like 0 0.0012 would have a negative exponent on b. So using this pattern, we can convert between scientific notation and standard notation. Here we have 48 billion 100 million. In scientific notation, the decimal point has to go after the first significant digit, or after the 4. So we have 4.81, and we can drop all the zeros times 10, and then the exponent is going to tell us how many times the decimal point, which was all the way at the right, has moved. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 times. So we have an exponent of 10, and because we're dealing with a big number, 48 billion is awful large, we keep that exponent positive, and so we have scientific notation 4.81 times 10 to the 10th. Let's look at another example. Here, we want to put the decimal after the first significant digit, or after the 2, which gives us 2.35. We're always times 10, and then to find out what the exponent is, we ask how many times that decimal has moved. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 times. To decide if it's positive or negative, we simply look, is it a big number or a small number? This is an awful small number. It's smaller than 1, so the exponent needs to be negative, showing that the standard notation number is a small number. And now we have converted this small decimal into scientific notation. Let's try another example going the opposite direction. In this problem, we see the exponent of 5. This means the decimal point needs to be moved five times, and the number needs to get bigger, because standard form needs to be big with positive exponents. To make this number bigger, the decimal must move to the right. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. For those extra spaces, we'll put a few zeros in there, and so we have 4, 2, 1, 2, 1, and then the extra spaces, the three zeros, gives us 421,000, a big number in standard notation. Let's try one more. Here, the exponent is now negative. The 6 still tells us the decimal is going to move 6 times, but when we're done, because it's negative, the standard notation must be small. Moving to the left 6 times, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 will make the number small. To fill the gaps, we need to stick in 5 zeros after the decimal point. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 zeros after the decimal point, and then 6, 2. We now have our small number in standard notation.